For this final video in the series, we're going to cover some placement of objects, and then we're also going to cover maybe uh, placing an AI character inside of the level, and also dragging out a NAF mesh to be able to give it interaction. So to begin, what we can do is we can focus on the idea of placing a hut, because this was what, I guess if I lived on the island, I figured that I would be building a hut. So we can go to the Create Objects tab, and let's go to Architecture, Buildings, and we can go to the Forest Cabin. Let's double-click this and bring this out into our level. Now I don't know exactly which side the door is on, obviously this one. And we can pull this back into the actual woods. Now this would be one of those cases where you need to cull wherever the vegetation is. So let's go ahead and close Material Editor, Level Settings. We can go back to the Vegetation Editor. And let's find the actual bush. So maybe we just get rid of that bush so it's out of the way quickly. So now we have a nice little cabin. And I think that we would like a nice little dock. I'm not exactly sure where it is inside of this. So maybe we can type it in. Possible we can search. We open the assets, objects, props, maritime, wooden dock. So that's cool. We have a nice little dock that we can click and add. So let's click the 2 key. We can add that. And let's keep in mind one other thing. We can actually duplicate this dock. If we duplicate it, we can open up this. Let's change the vegetation editor. We'll just go ahead and close all this. And now we can change the dock inside of here. Maybe it's something else that we would like. Let's go ahead and change one more. And we can quickly test things that otherwise you may not have an idea of what it is. So I like this right here, this dock, and maybe we can use this one as the end piece. This other one looks kind of big. So to start out, I know that this will probably be the end just because of how it's set up. And then this is going to be the beginning. If we snap these together, we have a height dis discrepancy. We can pull this up. And now they're all one. So if I control click and select both of them, I can go into my level, group, and we're going to group these objects. We'll call this dock. The reason we did this is because now we can select both of them together and they'll scale as they should. So it's a nice little way of how to set up everything to work for you and not against you. So now we have the dock right here, but maybe it's not exactly set up for a little path. So what we can do is go back to our Create Object. We can go to Miscellaneous. Let's choose Road. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I have Terrain Snapping on. I can turn off the Grid Snapping as well, so it won't matter as much. So I'm going to click the road. I'm going to click here in front of the door. Click here, and we'll end it there. So let's turn on helpers so we can see where the road is. You can notice that it got kind of twisted up. That's probably because I didn't have it selected properly. Let's go ahead and do geometry anyways. So with that selected, you can click the forest road. It's going to be very short. We can go in and we can change the width to maybe 2. And what we need to do now is we need to actually select a material. So if we click in the override material, I'm going to wait for it to boot up. We can go to materials, roads, and let's go ahead and do probably a road, a road gravel. So now we have a gravel road, which Here's something that is very interesting regarding roads, is you can align them. So if I take off my align to terrain, and I push this down just a little bit, and I align the height map, now we have a custom height map that drops with it from the actual door. 
So now we've created the house, we've created a path, we have grouped a dock together. What else could be done? Well, we said that we wanted to add an AI character to this. So if I go back to my entities and I choose AI, and we'll choose a character here, and we will make sure that we have a line to geometry on. I double click and we'll hold, bring him into the scene. So we have our AI, AI character here and if we were to click play he would drop down and you would see him kind of walk around. He doesn't really walk yet because he needs a nav mesh but he, he will play some animation, an idle animation where he's just standing there. How about we turn him around though so we can see what he's doing. So now we have our AI character, which we can put him on his path, I guess. And what we need to do now is actually give him a valid nav mesh to navigate around in. So in order to do this, I'm actually going to change some things. I'm going to go into the display, and I'm going to choose to hide the ocean. So in hiding the ocean, I can actually see the border or the boundary of where exactly the terrain is because as we remember it's not very big and the nav mesh is going to require this. So what we want to do now is go back, we'll go to AI, we're going to choose navigation area. We'll make sure that we have snap to geometry on. We'll click navigation area and we will begin drawing it out. So it's just going to look for points And we'll drag it around this area. So we'll double click. We'll see that it's processing the navigation mesh. And what we need to do is actually move it upward. Because right now, the navigation mesh is a little low. So we'll let it process once again, and you can see the actual terrain of where the navigation mesh is being drawn. So we're still a little too low. I'm going to go back to displaying the ocean. And you can see it's just kind of a, a guess and check game where eventually we're going to get to the point where we're not actually drawing the navigation mesh into the ocean, but we can still get it on the dock in the surrounding areas. Okay, so now we have a navigation mesh that's been drawn out in our level. We have an AI within it, and this AI can actually operate wherever he is, and he can even come down to the dock, and that's what's nice about this. And keep in mind, maybe you need to change it, and the nav mesh will update accordingly. So it's not like it's completely dependent on this, and it only generates, and then you're stuck with that. So it's just something that you need to remember as far as generation. So I think I'm going to end the video right here, and what we've done is we've laid down a dock, we've laid down a road for a path, we've stuck the building there, We've actually stuck an AI in there and we've generated a nav mesh inside of our island that the AI can operate in.